that is something to remember not only today but the rest of the day as you look at the Mega Bucks starting lineup here for both of these teams we have mentioned no Giannis no Serge no Joe no Chris and he could stretch out your defense with his shooting ability yeah this is 51st three-point make of the season again there was a question whether he would play today he's been out with back spasms he's missed the last three games but this is what the Indiana Pacers like to do the open attempts and right and, and, and that's that's part of their DNA but, and remember, Miami played a lot. This is the number one team in the league in transition points. So what does that put you into the mindset of, of protecting the basket? Yeah, I love it. Well, Matherin gets another bucket. You know, it was concerned about him in terms of uh, longevity in this league. As poorly as he was using Boston. But here with the Patriots, it's found new life. Here in this first quarter. And Mark kind of surveying, gives it back out to Ben Matherin. The two rookies connecting, and Matherin, wow, high off the glass against one of the best shot blockers. You know, it was concerned about him in terms of uh, longevity in this league, as poorly as he was using Boston, but here with the Patriots, it's found new life. That answer. <laughs> A.J. Green has checked it. A.J. shooting a, a really efficient percentage from three-point territory, 43% coming into today. Yeah, he takes, they go over film sessions, constantly just trying. I'm talking Matherin getting downhill. I'm talking about transition. You see the commitment to running that this Pacer team has in transition. That's why they lead the league in fast break points. Jalen Smith picked up his second here for the Pacers. A handoff again to Wara. Behind the back that time, step move. It was 23 points May 13th, 2021. So a couple seasons ago. And A.J. Green read that pass. Carter. Team getting back on defense. I'm not sure what was going on on the sidelines with the coaches. And Matherin takes the pass, gets tripped up a little bit into Grayson's hands. Grayson with that head and shoulders fake can't get the bucket. So whenever you hear me talk about Grayson finishing at the rim, pull up that play. That, that, those are the kinds of plays I'm talking about. Those are very makeable. Either on, on drives and, and, and takes like that as he feeds Bobby Portis, that time from the right side. Look at the guy whose name has been thrown around in, in trade talks, and, and you can see why a big like that that can protect the rim number one defensively, but also stretch you out shooting the three. But George Hill with the 13 minutes. Wesley Matthews now getting some time in the second half. Jordan Warren has played 15 minutes, and there it is a fourth turnover by George Hill. And his two comes down with the rebound. Trying to cut into this Pacers lead once again. Transition on Bobby Portis, not there. So no big three, actually, to begin the fourth quarter here. No Giannis in this game, and Drew sitting out the first few minutes of the fourth quarter. George has a seven-foot wingspan himself, so he plays much bigger than his size. And he's a veteran, and he's tough. Slow them down and cause them to struggle. He averages about 17 points per game. Talking to some of the Pacers folks, they weren't sure maybe if he could have a scoring average. George is not allowing him to establish that kind of deep position. Switch and George Hill takes it away. <laughs> hurt <his legs. laughs> I see what you're doing. A little delayed <laughs> reaction on your part. Speaking of New Smith, 33 and 11 here today. Get the ball into your best player's hands and give him some room to operate. Bobby Porter feeding George Hill. Almost knocked down that corner try. Gets it right back and George makes good on the second attempt. This afternoon, you still missed the 20 and 10 from Tyrese Halliburton, and you know the way he has got got this team organized all season long at the point guard position. I mean, shooting since this December, I think he's like effective field goal percentage top five in the league. He's got one on here in the building. Grayson gets knocked from behind. Then Matherin commits the foul. McConnell's dream was shattered a little bit here in the second half. 